Hello, my name is Ishani Bula. I'm the director of the Wavy Ensemble and the Hazelmere String Competition, which I'm chairman of. Tonight is the final of the Hazelmere String Competition. We've had two rounds in Bristol, in March, and in Hazelmere. This is a competition for serious young children, 11 to 19, who want to be musicians. The standard is unbelievably high. We have wonderful, talented kids. Why did I set this up? I wanted to give an opportunity to young people to play a concerto with the Wavy Ensemble, a professional group. And the first prize is £850, which is great. We've had some sponsorship from people, Chamberlain's Music and Bishop Strings, and I'm extremely grateful to people who've donated and helped us out with this. I'm Daphne Burnett. Our passion, my husband and I, is for music, especially involving young people. We had the opportunity to donate the prize tonight for the winner of the Strings Competition Hazelmere and we are so delighted to be here tonight listening to all these very, very talented young musicians. Um, it's very moving, it's a beautiful church, it's a wonderful thing that they're doing in Hazelmere and we just totally want to support it. What we felt was a prize like that was encouraging someone very talented to perform tonight. I can tell they're all quite nervous um, and really to help them progress in their career and gain confidence to perform in public. I am Jennifer Carter. I am the accompanist for seven out of eight of the finalists today uh, and played for a wide variety of things in the first couple of rounds. So I'm here just to give these amazing young musicians a chance at their best possible performance. Uh, it's been really, really good fun working with them. They are absolutely incredible. They work so hard and make just the most fantastic sound. It's so easy to shut my eyes and think, ah, this is a seasoned, mature musician and you open your eyes and you're working with a 15-year-old. It's very surreal. I'm Rachel, I play violin, and tonight I'm going to be playing the first movement of Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto in D Major. And I entered this competition because I really wanted the opportunity to be able to share the music with a wider audience as well as share something of myself and what I see in the music. I'm Harry Scott Burt. I'm going to be playing the uh, first movement of Saint-Saëns' cello concerto. Um, I'm really excited to be here uh, and playing here. It's a great opportunity to share my performance in a public venue to a live audience. Uh, the Hazelmere competition is just brilliant for aspiring musicians like myself. For my ambition is really to be a cellist when I grow up. I'm Hannah McFarlane and I play the cello and I'm going to be playing the first two movements of the Elgar Cello Concerto. Hazelmere String Competition to me has been a real incentive to keep making music to the best of my ability as I do in the end want to do music wherever it may take me. I've been playing the cello for 10 years now so to have these points in my career where I can show other people what I've been doing behind the scenes for all the time is a great incentive to keep going. I'm Nicole Wilson, I'm a judge at this year's Hazelmere String Competition. I've been a violinist in the LSO and a principal at ENO and also a violin teacher at the Junior Academy at the Royal Academy of Music. 
I love coming to these kind of competitions because I like to see who's coming through, who's going to be the next exciting thing in music, and it looks like an incredible lineup tonight, so we're very excited about that. I've deliberately not looked to see who the musicians are. I don't want to know anything about them. I want to just go purely on tonight. I want to see, you know, which performance means the most to me, not knowing anything about their background or how they've played in previous rounds. People often ask what you're looking for when you're judging a competition like this. And it's quite tricky because you might have some musicians, you know, they're on different instruments. It's hard to judge, you know, a double bass and a violin against each other. Um, some will be playing very technically difficult pieces and some might be playing very slow lyrical ones. And so it's very difficult to compare those sort of things. But at the end of the day, I tend to vote with my heart. And I like to vote for somebody who speaks to me who makes a connection with the audience, who is a real musician, uh, not just a technician. Although, of course, you know, it's great to see amazing techniques. Seeing an amazing technique is lovely because it just makes you sit back and relax and you sort of trust that the music will be safe in the hands of that young person. And I don't want to get drawn into somebody's emotional backstory and then not choose the best musician. So I hope I make the right choice. <laughs> and the winner was a piece I've never heard of. Life. I enjoyed every note of it, but I want to go and transcribe it for the violin now. Um, and that's Will. I'm Will Jordan. I played double bass and I played the Edward Tubin Concerto. I don't know why I picked Tubin Concerto. It's an incredible piece. He's an incredible composer. He's actually not a bass, he's not a bassist and not a bass composer, which is why I think the piece actually works so well for bass. I didn't expect it, <laughs> but it's a wonderful surprise. I've worked quite a lot for this um, and I'm happy it paid off. I'm happy everyone enjoyed it. The Hazelmoor competition, I actually did it the last time two years ago with a friend of mine, also a bassist, who won last time joint first. Um, and it's just such a nice environment. Ishani makes it so relaxed and so fun. Um, everyone here is so kind. It's actually not stressful. It's just a really fun, happy place to be. Yeah, I'm starting the Royal College from September, um, and I don't also own a bass or a bow. So quite a bit of it will probably go to instrument hire, bow hire, equipment, traveling, food <laughs> for living. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very generous donation. <laughs> the next time this competition happens, I recommend everyone to do it. <laughs> it's an amazing thing to do and it's run very well. Chandler, I played a whole bass. I was playing a piece by Karl Ditters von Dittersdorf, um, Concerto in E Major. Although it's quite a simple piece and it's not technically difficult, it makes it very, because it's quite plain, it makes it very musically difficult. Um, you have to have a very, very specific interpretation of it and play it very correct to its period style, which is early classical music, um, in order for it to be sort of correct in a way. Um, so that's, that's what makes it quite difficult. It's just a nice, simple performance piece. Just enjoy the flow of it, really. It's got a great cadenza as well. I've done this string competition twice, once two years ago. This is a beautiful church. It's got wonderful acoustics. And Ashani is just tireless. She works so hard for us all. Um, it's been really great playing here. I've really enjoyed it, working with Jen, the wonderful accompanist. Yeah, it's been great fun. Will's been popping up in a few of my competitions and just pipping me to the post. So next time I need to get him, but I'm really happy. Um, last time I did it, I came third, so one step at a time. Next time, maybe I'll get first. Everyone was just amazing, and the church, as I've said, is wonderful. It's a very beautiful church as well, but it's got exceptional acoustics. Um, no, everyone's performances were brilliant. I, I, I have a horrible time trying to judge it. Really horrible. They did an amazing job. Great feedback as well.